And members of the board, my name is Felipe Enriquez. I'm a hospital maintenance supervisor at Intimidad. I'm also sitting on the Monterey County Chapter Board for the CIU Local 521. Um, as the hospital continues to evolve and reach new and final levels of success, it has also been faced with many unprecedented, unprecedented and hospital specific challenges. Uh, please understand that I myself am not here today to address each of these challenges, rather to insist the county define a clear, concise, and concrete approach to addressing the hospital specific and labor relation needs of the Um it is, it is to my understanding the county HR has been working diligently to address many unresolved issues countywide uh, inherited from their predecessors. I must commend them for this. However, I express extreme concern as it appears the county's HR's tireless efforts to address the inherited challenges of the past have overshadowed and delayed many of the ongoing efforts to address <coughs> at least the compromised patient care. We the workers, engineering, EDS, grad techs, cardiopulmonary techs, and many others at the hospital are committed to ensuring delivery of quality care at, at, at NMC and can no longer stand by it as they try to figure things out. We need action, we need resolution. Establishing a doable and effective strategy to meet the HR needs of the county while allowing Dr. Gray and his hospital specific, specific team of experts the ability to resolve the HR needs of NMC and ensure the delivery of quality care in a timely and effective manner. I want to thank you for your consideration to the members of SEIU Local 521 at NMC. Look forward to continuing this conversation in the very near future. Good morning, members of the board. My name is Dory Jones. I'm a senior rad tech in the Timidea Medical Center and a member of SEIU Local 521. I am here today to share my deep disappointment with the lack of proper classification and compensation study process in this county. My co-workers and I have been waiting three years. I am a new kid on the block. I've only been there three years. I have been a radiologic technologist since 1997. Um, I have not seen a place that has had this many travelers in a facility or um, a turn of um, employees. I just received two working days ago, um, a two-week notice from a very uh, well-qualified technologist for, um, uh, sorry, um, to put in their two-week notice and is leaving us for Chong for better pay. This has been on the table for several years. There are people behind me that are here that have worked last night. Um, we as a county, I feel um, that we are responsible for our trauma facility. I'm very proud to work there. Um, you mentioned a 14-year-old child. We see these kids every day. We see your family members. We take care of them. We go home with them in our hearts. Um, I came to work for the county hospital because I love working for this community. Over the past few years, I have seen the that change into a bustling healthcare facility, especially with our trauma designation. However, I am disappointed to see that the county human resource and their inability to set successfully comprehend and complete classification work at NMC has become a barrier to the delivery of quality of care. And what I mean is quality of care for your family members in this community. Um, uh, this has to change. I mean, we, we have to move on. I am here today to ask you, does this board have an interest in Natividad Trauma Center being the provider of choice for Monterey County residents? Does this board want us to provide the highest quality patient care, care possible? If so, we urge you to do the right thing and direct your county human resource team to not delay the approval of our classification and compensation study simply because they do not understand what it is that we do. Uh, members of the board, uh, my name is Jesus Tanoe, and I work at the uh, Tizad Medical Center as a cardiopulmonary tech. I've been there over 13 years. Uh, if you count the uh, time I've been there through the registry, it's over 24 years. So I've been going to the Tizad since 94 when we were in the uh, It's not secret that the Tizad has grown tremendously over the last five years. Receiving the trauma designation has been a huge honor for us. It has also increased difficulty in the level of work that we do. As healthcare providers, we must uh, have the knowledge, experience, and cohesive teamwork necessary to adapt the uh, unpredictable, often uh, life threatening situation that comes to our facility boards daily. However, it is um, 
Whether it is a gunshot wound or a car crash, we are determined to provide the best level of care possible. That is what we do at the Tibetan. We save lives. However, it is increasingly difficult to focus on lives when we are consistently losing qualified and experienced staff to other hospitals. Uh, too many of our new employees come to the tip of that to receive the training and then they uh, leave after one or two years to work for other more comprehensive hospitals in the area. Uh, the high turnover and inability to retain experienced and knowledgeable staff hinders our union. We are too often short staffed, overworked, and frustrated. Uh, morale in the unit is low, and people continue to explore other employment options. Uh, this must change. Uh, I ask the board to direct our county uh, HR team to not stand in the way of the progress of the hospital and allow us to focus on providing the highest level of health care possible to uh, Good afternoon, members of the board. My name is Christian Contreras, and I am a TBS worker at NMC. I have been with NMC over a few years. Over a year ago, my coworkers and I began cleaning IV phones, which is a medical equipment. While we are always happy to adapt and grow our skill sets, medical equipment has not was not something in our job description, and have traditionally been handled by higher level classifications that get paid a lot more than we do. We asked NMC to do a classification and composition study so we could resolve this issue of who cleans the different types of medical equipment once and for all. Again, this was over a year ago. In December, we met with County HR and asked them about the status of our study. County HR lied to us and said that they had not received it from NMC. Frustrated, we asked NMC HR if they had indeed completed our study. They said they had, and County HR should have should have had it when we met with them in December. You can see You can see why we are so frustrated. For a lot of people, cleaning is cleaning everywhere. However, there's a huge difference in cleaning a county facility like this room we are standing in right now and cleaning an operating room in the hospital. My coworkers and I handle hazardous waste and materials. We are exposed to a variety of diseases and body fluids. We are the frontline staff that gets sent in to clean and disinfect isolation rooms. We are the lowest paid backbone of NMC. Our step one is $16 an hour. A county custodian earns $15.58 an hour. That's a difference of $0.42. Cent. For $0.42, cents, we are cleaning operating rooms, emergency rooms, traumas, isolation rooms, mental health units, and are being asked to clean medical equipment that comes into direct contact with patient skin. Things like IV pumps, things like baby warmers, where newborns are first place, enough is enough. We are tired of being undervalued, underpaid, and neglected. We care about this hospital and about this community. We want to take care of our patients, not worry about whether we're going to be able to pay rent next month. We are asking this board to do the right thing and invest in your hospital, invest in your staff. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, my name is Pat Butcher. I'm a supervising nurse at the Tibetan Medical Center. I'm also the vice president for our local chapter here at five, um, SEIU 521. And as you've heard from all of my coworkers back here, we all have uh, some extreme frustration with the county HR department. And I would like to address several of those issues with you. So we basically have no confidence in the county HR department. We're asking you specifically that we need change. And in order for us to have change, we need to be working directly with the leadership at the Tibet Medical Center. Although there's times that SEIU may not always agree with NMCHR, I am confident that they understand the intricate details of the running of a hospital and providing exceptional quality care. Running a level two trauma center cannot be held up or slowed down by county HR attempts to figure out what patient care is and learn the nuances of a hospital. I'm sorry. With that said, we aim to provide the highest level of quality care possible. We also aim to be the provider of choice. We refuse to allow county HR bureaucracy to slow us down. I am asking the board to make Irma Bell, Ramirez Bell accountable for all the delays that have happened over the last few years and to give her 30 days to bring you a response and a solution to why our contract needs have not been met, special pay practices, meetings, 
I could go on. You all know there's a lot of them. Um, I've met with a lot of you already. I want to thank you for that. And again, I look forward to being able to continue this conversation. Thank you. Hi, I'm Wes Weiss, and I just wanted to clarify earlier with this uh, the, the soccer complex, you know, I'm totally for the soccer complex. I just trips me out how, how this last minute stuff happens, and, and you just let it go, too. Okay, well, you know, this is the same thing happening with these guys, the same thing happening with GCT and uh, the uh, Pajaro Valley, you know, these boards, you, you guys are like, well, you know, not my problem, so I guess I'll let it go. Um, so people are suffering, you know, it's, it's costly. People go without years, without new updated contracts, and, and it's just so easy, man. We're, we're not, we have to wear staff in the shape, and we just let it ride. I mean, it, it should never get presented that the, um, Soccer complex thing shouldn't have got presented that way. I, I would have thought your staff would have done better than that. So I guess I'm disappointed in that, that you got presented that way. Um, because you should have fought hard, you know? You should have fought hard for these guys, too. There's, there's all this money, it just seems like it's wasted, and our budget just goes the wrong direction, and what we'll promise us and actually don't follow through. That bothers me, you know? I mean, we've got this, this right to work thing, it's, it's like this overlord stuff of, of ownership and, and Workers, employees, there, there's such a great divide in that. And, and we're supposed to be people, we're supposed to have equal rights. But it's equal rights of ownership, pursuit of happiness. I mean, we're, we should be happy. We've got some first world country. I mean, we're, you know, we're, we're not living up to our potential. And, and uh, we, I've seen a lot of great things happen in this county. And, and these are some of the things that disappoint me with this county. Um, and, and I love praising you, and, and I'm, I'm sorry I got to admonish you. but. This, it, it's just getting to be way too unacceptable. This is getting to be more and more a desperate situation. Minimum wage going up is, is not really the solution because the cause is we can cost and charge. We can charge whatever we want. Um, rate goes up, we've got no control over that. There's too many different factors of ownership that of all these corporations and industries of corporations, they got too much on us. And, and that's where the business and the, the government are supposed to be working together for the people. It seems like they're just working through themselves. I uh, hope we can do better. Anyone else? Seeing none, we will uh, we'll, we'll end public comments. I want to thank all the members of SCU for coming today and waiting. I know we, we went on longer. Uh, it took longer than we thought, but we hear you. We can't talk about it today because it's not on our agenda. But we look for uh, bringing this back in sometime in the future. Okay? But I'll observe your comments here today. So thank you for your time for being here.